This is a behind the scenes look at one of Las Vegas' oldest donut factories and how they pump out tens of thousands of donuts every single day. Carl's Donuts has been around in Las Vegas since 1966 and supplies a lot of your favorite hotels, casinos, and gas stations with donuts every single day. I am in Las Vegas right now. I'm also probably the only person to ever be awake at 8 in the morning in Las Vegas. Wait, people must have jobs here. Never thought about that. People have jobs here? The complete horror. It's a beautiful view. It's a beautiful morning. It's probably so hot that if I go outside, I'm gonna be dry like a stick of beef jerky. That was strangely visual. We're getting some donuts. You guys saw the donuts. These donuts are supposed to be the best donuts in the world. So I want to be there before nine in the morning because I know there's going to be thousands and thousands of people waiting for donuts. I'm getting my donuts. So let's have some donuts for breakfast in Las Vegas. What a time to be alive. Why is it windy in the desert? <laughs> Why is it windy in the desert? So we're here at Carl's Donuts. This is supposed to be the world's most famous, most popular donuts. Like, that's a big statement. So we're gonna go in just so you can see the variety and then I'm gonna get a box and we're gonna eat it in the car. Here we've got our box of donuts. I'm about to show you, but in Las Vegas, your morning starts with a very balanced breakfast of Carl's Donuts. Wait, no, I want to show you the reveal. Balanced breakfast reveal. Oh my God. This is not real. Is it real? It's about to be real. It's about to be real in my stomach. It's a big claim, the world's best donuts. No, why is it giving exactly that though? Are you kidding me? A speechless in 4K. No, the planes. That's the one thing about the location here. You gotta wait for Spirit Airlines to crash. I mean, it's not like you booked a ticket and expected it to land safely. I need to run you through every single one of these donuts. We're gonna go in the car and eat them, but I need to tell you what it is. This to me is the best one. This is to me the best looking one out of all of them. This is a salted caramel latte donut. Are you kidding me? Look at that. This is an uber flavored Cruffin. It's kind of like a cronut without the hole. And it's uber flavor on the inside. And if you know, if I had to pick my favorite flavor of all time, it would be ube. This is gonna be good. Inject it directly into my veins. That ube filling. This one is a cannoli donut. So you know like the traditional like cannoli, like it's you know those pastries in Italy? That on a donut. I mean, are you kidding me? How do you even come up with this? This is a creme brulee filled donut. How does the whipped cream not melt with this heat? Like it's so hot here. This one is so cute. This is a s'mores donut. A s'mores donut? This is a lot. I will tell you how much it costs. Honestly, I'm afraid of checking my own receipt and my bank account. We'll do that on a different time. This is a pop rock donut and wow, everything is giving. I can't even pick a favorite. It keeps on switching. And this one is a blueberry cobbler. And last but not least, this is not a donut. This is an almond croissant. It looks good. It's very European. So this is the full Avengers Endgame cast. Pretty good. What a way to start this video, right? I have to eat this inside the car because I don't think you guys understand I'm in the middle of the desert so my camera keeps on overheating I can film one minute outside before my camera literally almost explodes my job is very difficult I say this as I wipe my tears into a box of freshly baked pastries I have the best job in the world I'm gonna go with my gut and my gut is telling me salted caramel that's the one I can have one bite of each and then save the rest Oh my god! Oh my god, these are insane. Oh, it is salted. There's like pieces of salt in it. Wow, it is really salty. It's got like a cream in the center. I don't know if you can see, but there's cream in the center. It's pretty incredible. You know when they say salted caramel and it's just caramel? This is actually salted. It is very sweet, I'm gonna be honest. Next up, my favorite. My absolute favorite uber flavor cronut or cruffin. Oh my, that is the best one. This is the best pastry ever. The first one was like a seven out of 10. This one's a 10 out of 10. It's cream cheesy Uber. It's incredible. It is so good. I am biased though. This is my favorite thing ever, Uber. Oh man, I need the recipe before this. It is so tangy. Wow, that is so tangy. It's got me doing the tango. <laughs> this is s'mores flavor. This is so hard to bite. There's marshmallow on top, but I'm not crazy about the marshmallow. I just want the donut. It's filled with marshmallow. This one is surprisingly not too sweet. This one's perfect. This is to me, eight out of 10. That is very good. Let's do a little break and try the pastry. So this is their pastry. It's very like European style. This is literally what I grew up eating for breakfast. Oh, wait a second. This is filled with something. Didn't expect that. Look. 
Is it butter in the center? I think it might be butter in the center. It is very good. This one is also a 10 out of 10. Their pastries are better than the donuts. How about that? Carl's donuts more like Carl's pastries. We have a lot of foods to go through in this video, so. This is the cannoli donut. Wow. That's a different texture. It's almost like pie crust. Imagine a pie crust donut. That's what it tastes like. A pie crust donut. Weird. Kind of tastes like a cannoli. So they did exactly what they intended to do. Interesting. We have three more to try. This is creme brulee. This one looks so cute. I think this is one of the most recommended ones. How is the cream still standing? It's crunchy on top. Listen to my teeth on it. Me at the dentist. Oh, 10 out of 10. That is so good. This is my favorite one. Oh my, this is perfect. The sweetness, perfect. Oh my, this one is so good. The texture, the crunchy with the whipped cream, and then that soft center, that soft, like, almost like a custard in the center. It is so smooth, fluffy, custardy. Wow. For me, it's all about the creme brulee donut. If you come to Las Vegas and you want to buy one donut, because that's what most people do if they're not filming a YouTube video, it's the creme brulee donut. I'm not even crazy about creme brulee stuff. It's insane. Then we've got the Pop Rock candy blueberry, I think. It smells like blueberry. That is very good. It's very American tasting. Like Americans love blueberry, grape kind of flavor, but the dough of the donut, the dough is insane. It really is. It's so fluffy, buttery. Imagine Krispy Kreme slightly underbaked with more flavor, like organic Krispy Kreme or something. And the candy's popping, kind of, a bit crunchy. Personally, for me, this would be like a seven out of 10. It's not the creme brulee, that's for sure, but it's really good. All of them are very, very good. The Ube Cruffin and the creme brulee ones being the standouts easy. So the last one we have to try is blueberry cobbler. Ooh, look at the center on this one. Do you see that? Straight up jam. Like, I literally put my finger in the hole, in the jam hole. 8 out of 10, for sure. Wow. The flavors are very realistic in this whole thing. This is an amazing place. Probably some of the best donuts I think I've ever had. I think I've had a place in LA, Randy's Donuts. They might have been at the same level or maybe slightly superior, not to make comparison, but to make a comparison. But they're very, very good. The creme brulee donut, to me, this is the most perfect donut I've ever had. Like, it really is. Texturally, sweetness, it's perfect. Some of the other ones are a little bit too sweet for me. It's just a lot. That's why I didn't give them all a 10 or a 10. But overall, what a start to this video. I'm gonna have one more bite of the creme brulee, because we have a lot of foods to try. You know how this series works. An amazing balanced breakfast in Las Vegas. I love following a diet. Yeah, I'm gonna close the Pandora box, the demon box. Now let's put this in the mini bar. I got the popular sausage egg drop sandwich and added the bulgogi, a Korean style grilled steak marinated in sweet sauce. Then they pour the egg. Bigger pans, better sandwiches. Look at these things. There's my bulgogi sandwich with the secret sauce on top. Oh, it's like heaven in your hand. This is what you hope breakfast sandwich to taste like in your mind. They did it. They did it. That is a gourmet, high class, best breakfast sandwich I've ever had. So I'm parked directly in front of Bulldoggy's Gourmet Hot Dogs. And the interesting thing about this is this place is actually not known for the hot dogs, which is at some point, would I change the name or would I just be like, eat whatever you want? Or would that be admitting that your hot dogs are not good? Hmm. I actually spoke directly with the owners of Bulldoggy's and they said they would be okay for me to go inside and watch them prepare the breakfast sandwich that you guys saw, they might let us film a little bit in the kitchen, like preparing the sandwiches and then we're gonna eat it. This is my lunch at this point. It's lunch time now, but it's a breakfast sandwich. If you want logic, I'll recommend other YouTube channels in the description down below. So here we are at Bulldoggy's Gourmet Hot Dogs and I'm here to try two of the breakfast sandwiches. And you can also get hot dogs apparently. We're not getting hot dogs. Is that offensive? Should we get the hot dogs? I don't know. I wrote this down. I'm very organized, very methodical. We're getting the sausage egg drop sandwich and the bulgogi egg drop sandwich. So they said we were allowed to go inside and get a few shots. I think they're cleaning up the kitchen now. I'm like, uh, don't worry about that. I don't clean up my own kitchen. So they're gonna allow us to film them making the sandwiches and then we're gonna go in the car and try it because this camera of mine overheats in the desert. It's just something that's gonna happen throughout this video. So we're gonna watch the sandwiches being made and then we're gonna enjoy them in the car. waiting to get a tour of the kitchen. Just standing here. Am I allowed to just walk in? Me grabbing a frying pan and getting a job here. So we 
had to come outside because as you can see this is a very popular place but we got the order and they made this all in front of me which was incredible like it was so satisfying to watch the whole thing like those scrambled eggs it was amazing but the very best part is would you look at that Come on, zoom in. We need this in 4K. I need to see that egg scrambling in 4K. This is the egg drop sandwich. I think this is their most popular item. That literally looks like out of Cooking Mama or something. Like, is this a Cooking Mama food? Like, I didn't realize we're filming a Cooking Mama video. It's literally perfect. So inside they make their own kimchi. It's like the most incredible Korean food. They have so many things. They make like kimchi noodles or something. Like just everything on the menu was like my favorite food. So this is the bulgogi beef one. It looks pretty incredible as well. So I would say this is like their most popular items. The whole thing is buttery. Look at the bread, it's shiny. I'm like, this is almost slipping from my hand right now. So obviously we had to come outside because there's just so many people. This is a very popular place and now we know why. The evidence is here. They gave me a little gift. Wait a minute, this one looks really good as well. They gave me an extra sandwich. This is a bacon sandwich. The famous Bulldoggies egg drop sandwich. I mean, their branding is so freaking cool. This place, they just know what they're doing. You know when you go somewhere and you're like, oh, they know what they're doing. We're gonna try the sandwich. This is so buttery. Oh, it is speaking to me in ways. It's so thick. Look at this bread. This is like the best bread ever. It's like spongy. This is one of the best Korean restaurants I've ever seen in America, I think. Straight out of Korea. Even better. No offense, Korea. It can't get better than this. Look at that. It's just perfect. Okay, let's give it a bite. Oh my god. Holy... It's perfect. This is perfect. Wait a second. No, no, because I got to try this again. That was an even more perfect bite. Wait, these scrambled eggs are like clouds. They melt. It's like, what was the chicken fed? Cotton candy? Dreams? Are you kidding me? This is insane. This cheese? The sausage, it's like everything is like perfect. You bite into it and it keeps on looking better and better. It's not one of those things where it looks great on Instagram and then every single sandwich being made there look like this. This is insane. This to me, it's perfect. There's nothing else I could say about this. It's a literally a perfect breakfast sandwich. Oh my God. They give you a fork in case this is hard to eat and it is, it does get to the point where I'm speechless. This tastes like scrambled eggs and sausage, like the most delicious. Nothing like IHOP, Denny's, none of that. Like gourmet level. And then in between, the best garlic bread slices that you've ever had. This tastes like garlic bread. It's like a garlic bread breakfast sandwich. It is literally perfect. To me, the bread, 10 out of 10. The meat, 10 out of 10. The eggs, 10 out of 10. This is insane. I gotta try a different one because I'm losing my mind here. You know that it's buttery when my hands look like this? I'm like, what did you guys use to cook this? CeraVe Ultimate Moisturizer. Now this is the bulgogi one. So this one, I guess it's more like traditionally Korean. It's so big. Okay, let me try. I know the bread's gonna be amazing. Let's try. Holy this is insane. This is one of the best places I've ever been to in America. You guys gotta book a flight to Las Vegas. I don't care if you don't live here. You gotta come and try it. And they were so nice. They let me film in there. They were so patient. They gave me the food for free, which never happens. I always say this never happens. If people think like YouTubers are getting free stuff when they go to places. Not me. I never get free anything. I pay for everything. This was probably one of the first places that ever gave me food for free. So I ended up tipping them $100. So don't freak out. I don't want free things in life. I'm happy to pay for my share of things but they were so nice they 100% deserve the tips the whole staff holy it's actually perfect to me this is a perfect sandwich both of them incredible the egg drop one maybe slightly superior but they're actually both very similar you will be happy with whatever you order here i say this with full confidence you know guys you know i never tell you guys to waste your money if it's not good it's not good this you will not waste your money this is 100 percent worth how much they're asking for it in fact you will never be able to find a better breakfast than this and it's such a good amount i think it ends up being close to 15 dollars per sandwich it seems like a lot you get a lot of food this is like substantial it's 100% approved and this is a million out of 10. You saw everything prepared fresh. The meat is insane. The eggs are like the best eggs I've ever had. There's nothing else I could have asked for. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I didn't order this one. It's called the best sandwich, but they gave this to me to try. So this is a bacon scrambled egg sandwich. Are you kidding me? It's like a bacon sandwich on garlic bread. This is like Korean food meets American food. And this stuff tastes gourmet. Like this actually tastes like an expensive restroom. This is not just like fast food. So don't come in here expecting like that Burger King McDonald's bread. This is real stuff. This is so good. Holy sh**. 
Oh my god. It is perfect. It is so good. This one is a little bit more soft. This is more like a plainer, like breakfast option. It's very good still. It's still perfect, but definitely a little bit towards the plain side. The bacon is like rendered to perfection. Crispy, but still meaty. Holy sh I've cursed like three times during this sandwich review. I never ever curse. Well, not on camera anyways. So that's when you know the level of unhinged that I am with this. This is so good. I'm gonna drive back and I'm gonna kiss every single worker in there. In the mouth. I'm gonna French kiss this. Actually, that sounds nasty. I had a point and then it turned nasty. This is so, so good. Like their bacon. I wanna show you just a piece of the bacon. Like they know how to cook things. Everything just has the best flavor that you can potentially imagine. And these, the best scrambled eggs. I've had scrambled eggs from a Gordon Ramsay restaurant, like a place with like probably a Michelin star. This, these scrambled eggs are superior to that. This is better than any Michelin star restaurant I've been to. No words, come here, please. They were so nice as well. Guys, if you come here, tell them I sent you. Tell them Raphael told you to go eat your breakfast sandwich. In first place, I recommend the sausage egg drop. In second place, the bulgogi beef. And in third place, just the bacon one. But honestly, there's no going wrong here. This is so good. So I'm at the Full House Filipino Barbecue in Las Vegas. This place is a Filipino barbecue restaurant. Go me. I always have a way with words. So this place is actually known for the flaming Halu Halu. So Halu Halu is a Filipino dessert with ice and jam. Why am I explaining what a Filipino Halu Halu is if I don't even know what it is myself? I've never had it. So this is my first time going to find out what it is. You guys know I love Filipino dessert specifically. Oh, I just know I'm gonna lose my mind here. They're gonna set this on fire in front of me. They're basically preparing the halo halo. This is like me meeting my idol. I think this is ube jam, which you guys know. I've never had ube jam directly, so this is very exciting. I'm like, they're gonna come back to empty plates. Let's have a look at what the kind of things that we've got here. I think these are sweet beans, some kind of jelly. I know this has a name. I don't know the name, so don't even get offended. And more jelly. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna ask them. Some kind of flakes and then the ube, which you guys know. And then this is either evaporated milk or coconut milk. And then this is gonna be on fire. I'm so excited for this. Okay, this is the straight ice. What is the ingredients on here? Flan. Flan. Call it electro flan. This is plantain. Okay. Jackfruit. Wow. And we call this nata de coco bacon. I don't know how do we call it mm -hmm. here. And this is jelly, another jelly, and this is a beans. Beans. And this is we call uh, ube halaya. It's my first time trying this. Oh, really? Yeah, I've never had it. I had to come to the best place. Oh, thanks. This is like up there with the time that I met Taylor Swift with like life-changing experiences for me. This is like meeting my island. Are you kidding me? This is insane. It smells like cereal. It smells like milk, unicorns, greens, fruit loops, lucky charms. The world is becoming pastel colors. That's what it smells like. Not me wanting to eat this right before I mix it. And by the way, these long spoons, who invented this technology? I don't think you guys understand how much I love Uber. This used to be my Nutella like 10 years ago. Now I've developed an unhealthy obsession with Uber and anything. This is Uber Jam. This is my first time trying it. This is the best thing ever. I have no words. The way I think you're supposed to have this, you're actually supposed to mix it into like this mess. I know it will look like a mess, but I think that's traditionally how people eat it. So let's do it. Let's destroy this. Are you kidding me? The sweet beans. Oh yes. I'm like, good soup. Are you kidding me? It's gonna be the best thing ever. This is like a deconstructed lush bath bomb that you can eat. Wow, this is incredible. And the ice cream, I gotta make sure that it's melted. I feel like someone is gonna be commenting from the Philippines like, you're mixing it wrong, it's not well mixed, but I tried my best. This is a single man who works two jobs. That's me right now. This is literally a mixture of everything in here. It tastes like candy soup. It tastes like cereal soup. It texturally, it's like a slushy meets a bowl of Lucky Charms with fruit bubble tea. 
in it. You see the jelly? Let me reviewing this like it's a makeup product. This is one of the greatest inventions that's ever existed in this world. It's better than anything I could have expected from this. I gotta bring this to go. And look at this, they put in a little cup, like bubble tea. And it looks like I'm carrying two cups of rainbow. They also tried to give this to me for free, but I ended up paying for it. Because you know me, I don't like free things. When my subscribers come here, they'll pay for it. So I wanna pay for it too. I ended up tipping the lady like $40. So I actually don't know exactly the price of this, but it should be like, I would say between 10 and $15. But you do end up getting two drinks out of it. So if you come in here with a friend, this would be the perfect thing to share, even with like maybe three to four people. Doesn't that look like magic in a cup? Like, it's like play magic bells. It's like a unicorn in a cup. I will say though, if you've never had jackfruit, that might be a humbling experience. Jackfruit is notoriously funky. Some people don't even like the smell of it. I've been to the Philippines before and I've had jackfruit. I've never had this dessert, but I've had jackfruit. So I kind of knew what was coming. So it is funky and fruity and cereal milky. It's really strange. It's really hard to explain. It's overall creamy. That literally doesn't make any sense, but that's what it is. I mean, I love Uber, so you know I would love this regardless. To me, I could deal with less of the jelly and more of the Uber. I'm like, give me just, you know what? Maybe I just wanted Uber ice cream. Maybe I just wanted the ice cream. Is that what was going on? Maybe. Honestly, they were so nice at this place. This is 100% approved. Come and try it. Try their barbecue as well. The lady really wanted me to try their pork. And I was like, I really don't have the time. We're on a mission today to try a lot of Las Vegas, TikTok famous places. But this is 100% approved. The aesthetic is amazing. And I'm going to be honest, that is the main reason reason why you should probably come here like the preparation of it if it's your birthday this would be incredible but then you also get to bring it home with you and it's kind of like a funky creamy bubble tea so cheers So here we are outside Aloha Kitchen and Bar. So this is a place that is actually open 24 hours and there's six locations of this in Las Vegas. So it's a popular Las Vegas chain, I think. So I'm gonna go inside. I don't think they want me to film in there. So I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna pick up the musubi, which is, you know, the chicken and the rice. I'm also gonna pick up a spam musubi because that is also very popular. And I think this is Hawaiian food. I could be wrong, but spam is popular in Hawaii. I think I'm not cultured once again. You're just going by TikTok recommendations here first one to admit it so we're gonna go inside and see what they recommend but I'm excited never tried Hawaiian food before and I know people watching this from Hawaii are like how why did you go to a chain and you're probably right but this is hyped on TikTok so I have to find out <laughs> We have secured the Hawaiian goods. Probably not quite as in Hawaii. So I went inside and I tried to film a little bit. They were like, no filming allowed. I was like, okay. Like I literally just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when they make it. But I mean, I get it. They also weren't like the nicest place to go to. So the vibes here, no amazing vibes. I was like, can you recommend something else? And they were like, I don't know, like a burger. I was like, okay. This Hawaiian place is not passing the vibe check. But imagine, this might be good. So we got a spam one and a chicken one. The chicken one is one that has millions of views on TikTok. I believe this is the chicken one. It's called Musubi. I keep on forgetting the name. There's so many foods in this video. So if I mix your culture, it's not intended. So this is the chicken Musubi. Chicken Musubi reveal. Why do I love that? Like a seaweed burrito, okay. It's kind of giving. This was very cheap as well. I think it was a total of $7 for two. So it's probably around three and a half dollars. Three and a half dollars? No one ever says that. I'm never beating this alien reincarnated in a human body allegations. I actually love the look of it. It looks really good. I want to try it. So it's just sauce. I'm assuming a Hawaiian sauce, a chicken thigh, rice, and seaweed. All things that I love. So let's give it a try. Okay, the crunch, damn, it is delicious. I was ready to be a hater. It's very plain, it almost needs a sauce. There's no sauce. When food tastes plain, which it definitely does, but it's well made, the rice is cooked, the texture of the rice is perfect, the chicken is perfect. I don't even like chicken thighs normally, but this one is rendered. It's actually well cooked, it's not grizzly. Is it grizzly? Gritly? There's a word for this. When you bite into it and it's like, you're biting into like crushed up praying mantis, it's not like that. 
Oh, there's sauce here. Okay, wait, now he's better. My first bite didn't have sauce. You see how now there's a little more color to it. It's like a sweet, I'm assuming like a Hawaiian kind of sauce. It's very good. I would love to go to Hawaii one day and film some videos there, but I believe that is not ethically at the moment. I don't know why. Someone explained to me one time. This is as close to Hawaii as I'm gonna get. Someone recommend me a good Hawaiian restaurant in America, please. I will travel there. This is 100% giving. Oh man, that is so good. I really, really like this. This would be like an amazing food when you're on a night out. Like this would be the equivalent of that. For that, this would be a 10 out of 10 in just regular food standards. I would say this is like an eight out of 10. I really like it. I think it's correctly hyped. It's not crazy like the breakfast sandwich that we had. I mean, that was unbelievable, but it's really good. And I would 100% recommend you guys come here for $3, it's pretty good. Now this is the spam version. I'm pretty sure at some point two years ago, I got canceled because I was making fun of spam. I think somebody cancelled me but because I didn't check the comments I didn't know that I was cancelled until it was like six months later I wasn't there for my cancellation but some of you were I'm sure you've stick around I made fun of spam in a video the video should still be there here's my apology wait let me sit on the floor and put on a hoodie and wipe off my makeup I didn't know this spam was actually really popular in other countries and now I kind of understand how why it exists because it's canned food it doesn't go bad it works in a lot of different climates I was young I didn't know better so I guess to me the idea of spam from my European raised brain, it was not good. It did not look good. I had to roast the spam. Now I understand why spam exists. Will I like it? Probably not, but I'll still try it. Spam and rice. Pretty good. It's okay. The chicken one, way better. I love seaweed and I love rice and I love this seaweed and rice. The quality is good. Kind of forget about the spam because the sauce is also delicious. I'm not crazy about spam. It kind of tastes like a hot dog. It's not that different from a hot dog really. So I don't know why I had that kind of reaction to it. It's literally a hot dog. Like this is the same stuff that people are eating in Germany. It's okay, not crazy about it. This to me is like a five out of 10. I would eat it happily. In fact, if this was free, I would eat it every day. I would be queuing up outside Aloha Bar. This one is good. If you come here, try the chicken one. It is really good. It really is good. But I still enjoy the spam one, so. The texture of the seaweed is really remarkable. They wrap it up so tight, and then there's a crunch to it. I love it. Texture heaven. Will you ever stop putting hibachi inside a tortilla and making it a burrito? No way! So we've just pulled up to this place called Volcano Grill in Las Vegas and this is known for their hibachi burritos. I went on Wikipedia and I was trying to do research on what hibachi is because it's like Japanese. I think in America it means that it's cooked in like a hot plate. In America it basically means that it's like grilled on a hot surface, like Japanese style. So anything could be hibachi here. In Japan I think it's something different. Don't be mad at me, I'm here for the snacks. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna order my burrito and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Let's go. I have officially secured our burrito. This is the hibachi burrito. Someone will find a reason to cancel me in this video and I'm probably never gonna find out until six months later. <laughs> no, I don't think you understand the size of this. That is, listen to this, watch the camera shake. This is the biggest burrito I have ever seen. This is massive. Are you kidding me? So this is the beef one, which is the one that we were recommended from TikTok. Let's see, burrito reveal. This smells insane. Like, I've never seen a burrito where the outside is like grilled, almost like a chicken breast, like a blackened chicken breast. It's a blackened burrito. That's probably what the hibachi means, because it's like barbecue hibachi. Hibachi is the name of the machine, I think. Or is that tapanyaki? Am I just making up words? Is this even Japanese? Or did they just come up with a word? And honestly, who cares if the burrito looks like that? Who cares if you invented this? They were enlightened that they did it. I actually can't get over this. Listen to this. Why is this more moisturized than my back? You knew that joke was coming. Burrito reveal. Why does everything gotta be a reveal on my YouTube channel? I'm so dramatic. The level of stuff in it is insane. I'm gonna show it to you, but before I forget, if you wanna order this, this is the spicy beef hibachi burrito with the magma sauce, which is the spiciest sauce. I made a mistake. How do you know you get something that is called the magma sauce? That sounds so cool. I'm like, I gotta have it. Here we go. That is the most beautiful burrito I have ever seen. And also, yes, my hands are boiling hot right now. I'm pretty sure I've just seared my fingers. Just hibachi burrito with my hibachi fingers. Not the black and tender hands. My camera is kind of agreeing with me at the moment, so I'm gonna give it one bite before we go, but this is hard to eat. How do you even eat this? My camera is overheating at any second. Let me remove 
with my glasses. This is like the best burrito ever. It's like a Japanese rice bowl in a burrito form. It's sweet, spicy to perfection. It's got broccoli, onions, it's got all these vegetables, and the whole thing is sweet and like, wait, we haven't even tried the beef. This is their famous hibachi beef. That is so good. It is also a $20 burrito. I mean, they put every cent of beef and rice and everything here. This is like egg fried rice, broccoli. It's honestly an insane burrito. This is not like an everyday kind of thing. This is like, if it's your birthday, come here. This is a birthday burrito. That's what I'm officially naming it. This is insane. I will be honest, the one downside of this, this is impossible to eat as a burrito. It's really, really difficult. And they knew that too, because they gave me a fork, because it's really hard. It's just so big. So this is a $20 burrito. It's egg fried rice with broccoli in it. I mean, wow. It's really high quality. Like, if you're expecting this to be like, kind of like frozen vegetable, frozen microwave egg fried rice, it tastes really authentic. I love the spices on this. It's spicy without being too much. The steak, it's truly incredible. And I'd never seen a burrito in which they cook the outside of the burrito. So I think that's why this place is just so popular. I can't even pick a favorite. I think my favorite is the egg fried rice. It's just mushy. The texture is perfect. It's like fresh, fresh. The vegetables, not frozen like real crunch to it. And it's really hard for food to be like sweet without being too sweet. This is perfect. Like I would say this is the perfect balance of sweet and savory. Wow. To me, this is the perfect steak. It's perfectly cooked. You dig into it and you find new vegetables like carrots. Didn't realize we had that. And you just keep on finding new things like onion. I know some people are like horrified at fusion gastronomy because it's like, well, it has to be done really well. To me, this is a great example of that. It's like a burrito meets Japanese food meets in the perfect, perfect way. This to me is perfect. And obviously the tortilla because it's so seasoned, it's like the tortilla tastes like chicken. It tastes like blackened chicken tenders. That's exactly what it tastes like. So if you imagine the flavor of blackened chicken tenders, like a very American kind of seasoning on it, that's what it tastes like. It's, it's, it's unreal that this is the tortilla. That might be my favorite part, the tortilla wrap. Man, it's like the seasoning. There's a piece of chicken in here as well. What is this? Is this chicken? Interesting. It is a grill after all. To me, the steak is also perfectly cooked. It's just soft and like melts in your mouth. The whole thing, it could not have been more perfect. This is also a lot of food. I would say this is $20, but this is enough for two people. So in reality, this is like maybe $10 burrito. If you cut it in half half, it is 100% worth it. Let me make eye contact with someone. You know them walking around the car. Please don't come knock on the window. That was close. I think they sent me an accidental piece of chicken. Honestly, I don't know what that is. This place, this is high quality. It's expensive, but it's high quality. If you're ever in Vegas for your birthday, you gotta come try one of these. I literally can't stop eating it. That's how insane this is. To me, this is a solid 9 out of 10. Ooh, not that girl coming again. It's perfect. What a way to celebrate my non-birthday in Las Vegas. I want a real bite of this burrito now. Like, let's get my hands dirty. I mean, might as well. Let's just do it. Oh my God, so good. This is the best ice cream in Las Vegas. It has the highest legal limit of butterfat ice cream can have. This is sorry, not sorry. And there is a bit of a frenzy around it. They make everything from scratch in house. I didn't know there was a special device for making a waffle cone. Turns out there is. They have a few vegan options like this fantastic mango nada. My favorite is the brown sugar mochi boba. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry, ice cream. Ice cream with the most amount of butter you can legally put in ice cream. That is their catchphrase, and it's a hell of a catchphrase. These are the two most famous flavors. On top, we've got ube, and in the bottom, we've got the OG butter cake. OG butter cake is also my stripper name, and I'm in Las Vegas, so this is fitting. This is the ice cream they broke me. Wait a damn minute. This is insane, guys. This is no like ice cream. This is butter. This is butter flavored with ice cream. Do you see this? Look at this texture. I've never seen... <laughs> Wow, just wow. This is insane. I don't think you guys understand how insane this is. It's also melting everywhere. This is insane. It tastes like butter. It really does taste like butter. It's the strangest thing. It is so sweet without being too sweet. It is so sweet without being too sweet. 
What a sentence. What a way with words. A modern day Shakespeare doing food reviews. I'm not crazy about sweet stuff. You guys know I'm all about savory. I like the burritos. I like the tacos. I like the pastas, the rices. It's crazy that I'm about to say this, but this to me is a 9 out of 10. It is literally the perfect ice cream. I know this whole thing is gonna melt. I don't have a tray. I wish I had a tray, but I need to try the cookie. So the cookie's made in house and you can taste it. This is as good as ice cream gets. It's insane. This is crazy. Not me trying to find out if there's anything in the center. That is the only thing is this. Oh wait, there's cake in the center? Oh no, it was one type, one piece of cake in the center. There's some cake in it. Wow, this is as good as ice cream gets. It really is. For me, this is not only a 10 out of 10 out of respect for the breakfast sandwich, but this is as good as it gets. And also, look at this. This is the back. This is the reality. I, I can't eat this whole thing. I'm gonna need assistance from my cameraman for digesting assistance. <laughs> this is too much for me. I don't even feel like ice cream anymore. But it is really good. Both flavors, a 10 out of 10. I gotta take a thumbnail, guys. Before this melts, this is already the worst thumbnail ever. <laughs> me looking sad while this melts and a giant hole that I bit into this side. Not me washing this whole day of eating with a coffee. I was actually really smart today because I was like thinking I didn't eat too much of anything that then I was grossed out by the other foods. It was kind of a perfect balance. So this was Las Vegas. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know there was a lot of expectations for Las Vegas because you know, it's a major place for foods. So I would love to hear from you guys. Where do you live? And where do I go in your city? Where are the most hyped places from your city? I would love to go and film it. At this point, I'm really like looking for suggestions. So if I take your city, you will be credited. So thank you. Don't forget to give it a like. These videos are difficult to film. They involve traveling. They involve begging people to get some shots of behind the scenes. So giving it a like, subscribing, switching my notifications on is truly life-changing for me. It really does make these videos possible. I hate to be annoying, but I also want to make more of these. I love making these. I want this series to last. If you switch my notifications on, it's honestly the best way to do it. So I don't ask for money. I don't sell merch. I don't do any of those things. All I ask you is to switch my notifications on, which is free. So thank you. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.